Welcome back. Some of her favorite experiments involve bright light and a lot of sparks. And this one is oh no gosh. different. Yes. Chemical Kim is here to show us the science of burning metal. That's right. That's right. You know, Catherine, the. Oh, first, check out my suspenders. Let me see. What do they have on them? So the element. The table. Now, you know, most moms get perfume for her Christmas. Yes. My children gift me, you know, elements. I love it, love it, love it. I'm such <laughs> a blessed mother. So, anyway, yes, we are going to burn metals. Now, and I, I think this is a neat science. Lesson because most people, when they think of trying to take a flame to a metal, and again, this is definitely something children should not do at home. Yes. Okay, but when they, you know, if you're to try and take a piece of, you know, this is a really strong butane lighter. Yes. And it will not burn this metal. But metals burn surprisingly really easily. And I'm going to have you assist me, Catherine. Okay. I'm going to have you put some safety glasses okay. on. Okay, doing so it. You're going to grab those tongs there. Okay. I'm just going to slide your paper over. We just do, to yeah, we do not want those to go up. Away. Okay. And the, um, for the three metals that we're going to look at is iron, okay. and copper, and magnesium. And, and they, well, I'm they guessing all they will burn, burn. differently. They That's all burn my differently. guess. Exactly, exactly. So I'm going to have you tong on the oh, tongs okay. some of the metal, and you're going to hold it at a, at a distance away from you. And I'm going to hold the flame. Now, the, the, this is just copper. It melts. And it just, it looks like it's melting, okay? But do you notice a color change taking place? In yeah, the what's with that? That is making an oxide, a copper oxide. And this is unique because it is now a new material. It's uh -huh. no longer the elemental copper. It's copper oxide, and it's actually heavier when it burns. Oh, That's the unique material with, me or unique behavior with metals is that it gets heavier. Okay. That's co you know, that's copper, it turns dark. Yeah. You know, that copper two oxide. Now, okay. this is iron, okay? Okay. And you can see the difference oh, when you burn that. the iron. That it definitely, having it in the, in the presence of, you know, more oxygen, you notice we're burning fibers of, mm -hmm. of metal, not solid metal. The reason the solid metal doesn't burn, well, they're all solid, but in terms of really large clumps of solid. Yes. The reason it does not burn is because... It needs oxygen, oxygen, and we're going to do a little um, activity with okay. oxygen and trying to burn material without oxygen. Okay, now, do I want to pick this up? this last one is magnesium. Okay. And I think if we knock the lights down on these, on this one, this one is the, the high energy burn, okay? Okay. And what we're going to see, hold that Shall we dim the lights little a little bit, you guys? What we're going to see here is a really, really bright Oh, my. Burn. And it's very high energy. And this is actually a, a reaction that firefighters have to be very cautious about because you cannot throw water on a magnesium fire. What happens? It will actually create a hydrogen bomb. Are you kidding I me? I am not kidding you. And in well, fact, how charming. We're going to do a little bit more with that magnesium. Okay. It's such a cool element for burning. Yes. Okay. Again, a piece of metal. And if you were to describe this metal, Catherine, how would you describe it's flexible. it? Flexible. I can see that it's very flexible. Yeah. What, does it remi what kind of metal does it remind you of? Uh, like what you would solder with? Yes, exactly, like a solder metal. Um, yeah. It looks very much like aluminum. Yeah. Okay, what I want you to do is hold it into the dry, over the dry ice, which is carbon dioxide. <gasps> and you notice it actually still burns, which is really complexing as, as a scientist because carbon dioxide is not oxygen. But this burns at such a high energy yes. that it will still burn in the presence of carbon dioxide, pulling the oxygen out of the CO2. Yes. Now let's compare that okay. to trying to burn some steel wool okay. in the presence of carbon dioxide. So we'll get that now go going. Ahead, get that going. Now throw it in there. Nothing, right? Nothing. Because it deprives the oxygen. But magnesium burns at such a higher energy. Now let's show even more reactions with oxygen. Okay. So what we're going to do, I'm going to have you pour that. Just at you know, sl oh, I'm sorry. Just at a slow rate to uh, create some oxygen in there. Oh, look at what am I adding oxygen. together? Um, you're adding a, a sodium hypochlorite with an H2O2 compound, two compounds together that create oxygen and okay. releases that into the atmosphere. Now watch now when we burn the steel wool. Yes. We get a little bit sam larger sampler. Okay. Watch how much the oxygen assists in the burning. Look at that. Look how bright that wow. is. Wow. So that right fuels, yes. It fuels, it fuels that fire. Okay. Very in the, cool. In the burning. And let's do the magnesium. Let's Slightly see. scary this morning. <laughs> now you're <laughs> going to create some more oxygen. Okay. And again, nothing that you would want to encourage for kids. This is more of a science lesson for kids. Yes. Okay. Definitely a science lesson. On so you're going to light that. Button. And here we go. We're going to put the magnesium, and look how bright that is. Wow. 
definitely oxygen feeding that flame, feeding that flame. Very cool. To get that burning magnesium. Well, so, look at there is fun? yeah, it is so, a lot of fun, so, and so fun. you can find more activities from Chemical Kim. They are available on our website. And uh, go to WZZM13.com under Take 5 if you want to get excited about science or get your kids Woo! excited. There are lots of ideas of things that you can do.